Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide from a ganglion neuroma, which is a benign tumor that arises from neural crest cells. This particular tumor is located in the fatty tissue around the adrenal gland. So we have the adrenal gland here, which is normal, periadrenal fat, and we have the tumor. Let's have a very quick recap of the normal adrenal gland. This is the normal adrenal cortex, which is composed of zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata, and zona reticularis. And in the center, we have the adrenal medulla. This always appears bluer because the cells have more anthophilic or bluish cytoplasm. It is from the adrenal medulla that pheochromocytomas arise. So this tumor, a ganglion neuroma, is arising in the fatty tissue just outside the adrenal gland. It is not encapsulated, although it is relatively well circumscribed. And we can see that there is some fatty tissue or adipose tissue in the tumor. In this area, the tumor is composed of spindle cells with very slender, elongated nuclei. Some of these nuclei are a little bit wavy as well. These are Schwann cells and they are arranged in parallel bundles or fascicles. This is one of the components of ganglion neuroma, the neuroma component. Let's have a look at another section from the same tumor which shows the ganglion cells better. Here is another section taken from the same tumor and again we can see the spindled Schwann cells with very slender, long, wavy nuclei. And moving over to this area, we start to see these very large cells. These are ganglion cells and they form the ganglion aspect of the ganglion neuroma. So ganglion cells are large polygonal cells with round nuclei, prominent nucleoli and very abundant eosinophilic or pink cytoplasm. Here is another one and another one here. Some of these ganglion cells you will notice have very dark smudgy appearing chromatin. These are the pycnotic nuclei and these are examples of dysmorphic ganglion cells. Dysmorphic ganglion cells also can be binucleated or multinucleated and here is an example of a binucleated dysmorphic ganglion cell. Another example here with two nuclei. Let's learn a bit more about ganglion neuroma. So this is a neoplasm that arises from the neural crest cells. It is benign. It occurs with equal frequency in males and females. It can occur in children as well as in adults. And in adults, they tend to occur in or around the adrenal gland. Because this arises from sympathetic nervous system tissue, it tends to occur in the posterior mediastinum, retroperitoneum, adrenal gland, and it can even occur in visceral locations, including the bladder, the prostate, pancreas, and gastrointestinal tract. These are often asymptomatic. Here is an example of gross appearance of ganglion neuroma, and there is a separate talking pot video on this. You can access the talking pot video as well as our interactive virtual pathology specimens in our free pathology website, PathWeb. Either you can scan the QR code here or you can find the link for registration in the video description. Microscopically, ganglion neuromas are composed of two main components, ganglion cells and Schwann cells. Ganglion cells can be mature, as you can see here, with a round nucleus and prominent nucleolus, or they can be dysmorphic, binucleated with dark, degenerate, pycnotic nuclei. Sometimes you can see yellowish, lipofusin or brownish, fine granular neuromelanin pigment in the cytoplasm. Schwann cells look very different. They are usually arranged in these parallel bundles or fascicles, and they have spindle, very elongated and slender nuclei. There may be a mixoid grayish stroma around the Schwann cells. And as we saw in this example, you may also see fatty tissue, adipose tissue, 
and collagenous or fibrous stroma. Usually, there is no significant nuclear pleomorphism, no mitosis, and no necrosis. So this is a benign tumor that is cured on resection. In summary, this is an example of a ganglion neuroma showing the neuroma component, which is composed of these spindle, elongated, slender Schwann cells arranged in parallel bundles or fascicles, and also ganglion cells, which are very obvious because they are large, polygonal, have abundant cytoplasm, and large, round nuclei. This is a benign neoplasm. Thank you.